What's up, everyone? This is Josh Room of Reese Was Healing. Today, I want to talk about glutathione, the most important, wonderful antioxidant that everyone's pounding down their mouth. The problem is it can't get past the stomach, and it's rendered useless. So let's talk about it. But before we jump in, as always, please like this video, show us a little support. Please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button wherever it is. So every single Wednesday when we put out a video, you get notified. Let's jump in. Glutathione. This is a powerful antioxidant. It's very popular. Of course, within the pro metabolic community and the health community, it's it started to make its its rise in popularity, especially with the COVID. You know, everyone's like, I need to take NAC, I need to take you know glutathione. But here is the problem: glutathione in a supplement form is completely useless. You should take it out of your cabinet and just throw it in the trash. It cannot get past the stomach and it is rendered useless. It's broken down, the particle's too big. It can't get absorbed and pushed into the bloodstream. The only way you could truly use glutathione in a supplement form is to get an IV or to do an IM um, or a sub-Q um, injection of glutathione. Of course, it's illegal now and it has to be via prescription. Uh, but of course, there's a lot of clinics out there that do glutathione, et cetera, et cetera. But here's the kicker, right? What if I told you your body actually produces glutathione if you provide the body with what it needs? Now, copper is actually broken down into a protein in the body, in the liver, ceruloplasmin, bioavailable copper, which activates oxygen and allows us to produce tons of copper-rich antioxidants. That's the key words here, copper-rich antioxidants. Those are cytochrome oxidase is one of them. Catalase, superoxide dismutase, the list goes on. And another one is called glutathione peroxidase, GPO. Now, what do these antioxidants do? They help us fight reactive oxygen species. You know, it helps us produce energy and um, prevent free radicals and cell death. They help us with iron recycling and red blood cell metabolism. So they play a huge role in the body. And when we eat in a way to support our cells to produce energy and produce these antioxidants, what do we do? We're able to kind of put out those little fires, fight the free radicals. We're able to build resiliency, create health day in and day out. The problem is we have been duped. We've been taught that we can eat like crap. We can live beyond our means. And all we have to do is take a supplement, an antioxidant supplement, to put out that fire. Unfortunately, you're, you're robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're living a this for that approach and it doesn't work. Don't believe me? Look at the win Look out the window. How many people are struggling? How many people are suffering? How many people are not changing their life, but they have a cupboard full of supplements and they're not getting results? Almost everyone, 99%, and we see it every day with the clients we work with and the people that contact us to work with us, the people that comment on our social media, our Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, people are struggling. It's because we are trying to heal with the supplements and you can't heal with supplements. You have to heal by changing. You have to heal by creating change so you can create change. You have to heal by using what nature gave us to support our body because if you give the body what it needs, nature is going to do the rest. This is a perfect example, right? Because we produce glutathione when we activate oxygen. We produce energy. We produce GPO. That GPO allows us to, or allows glutathione to work, but copper allows glutathione to function, right? Because without copper, we can't produce GPO and GPO, right, allows us to kind of produce glutathione, which is that powerful antioxidant. Here's another kicker though. Methylation is required to produce glutathione, right? This happens in the liver. Methylation is required to produce glutathione, which is a very important molecule for detoxification. And of course, it's antioxidant. Anywhere there's going to be a little forest fire, antioxidants are always produced in the cell. You're a conglomeration of cells. You come in this world of cell, you multiply, Right? That's how you develop. You become this big conglomeration of cells. Your organs are a conglomeration of cells. All those cells produce antioxidants and energy, right? So, uh, methylation is required to produce glutathione for very important reasons. But here is the kicker. Methylation is a copper dependent process. 
Without copper, you can't methylate. Without copper, you can't activate DAO to clean up histamine. Without copper, you can't produce your antioxidants. So here's the question, my friends. If we're inflamed, if we need antioxidants, are we gonna go buy supplements? We, we do, right? But here's the thing, all of this got you here. You're gonna buy a supplement, you're gonna take a medication and think it's gonna work, but here's the problem. You haven't changed anything. You haven't changed how you're living. You haven't changed how you're eating. You haven't changed your environment. So how can you heal? Because you're still producing a forest fire. What we need to do is step back, reduce the stress in our life. A lot of us have stress, but we have to do it in a way that works for us. We're not saying live in a bubble, but build your resiliency to the stress. Look at what's working in your life. Create awareness with what's not working in your life and make changes. Focus on your food. Eat more metabolic proteins like different types of organ meats and fatty fish and white fish and shellfish. Of course, muscle meats and bone broth and eggs and dairy. This is where we're gonna get our copper. This is where we're gonna get our retinol, which helps us you know, take copper and produce that protein through real plasma so we can produce these antioxidants, right? So eat more of these proteins. People are just eating eggs, chicken, and steak. That's not gonna do it right? And we have to eat more of these foods. And it would create so much change in the body because if you give the body what it needs, nature's going to do the rest. And that's what we have to do because if we do that now, what are we doing? We're getting the minerals and we're getting the fat soluble vitamins and retinol we need to load copper into ATP 70 and be in the liver so we can produce ceruloplasmin, so which we can produce these copper antioxidants, so we can produce GPO, so we can produce glutathione and put out the forest fires. Your body produces it. You don't need the supplement, and if anything, you don't even need the injection, because again, you haven't changed anything. You go in, you're like, I'm overworking, I'm overtraining, I'm under eating, I'm not eating the right foods. Let me sit down and get an IV and think it's gonna help me. No, it's not, because nothing's changed. So, what's the moral of the story? Change to create change. Give your body what it needs, nature's gonna do the rest. Thanks for tuning in, I'm out, peace.